Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the Star Wars Vintage Collection, The Mandalorian figure. Here he is in the packaging. As you can see, he is a blister corded figure with the figure and his accessories visible there in the bubble. Then you have a uh, photograph from the TV show featuring the character himself right there on the right hand side. The, the uh, card is reminiscent of the vintage uh, era Kenner figures from years ago. <laughs> I always get tongue-tied when I try to say that. Oh, anyway, flipping it over on the back, you've got the cross cell with the uh, the other figures that were also available around the same time as this guy, as well as a whole bunch of Lego mumbo jumbo down there in the bottom in just about every language known to man. So, without further ado, let's open him up and have a look at the uh, figure himself. Now, this is obviously the figure in his Bespar armor. Um, they also, they came out with this figure previously in his uh, original um, beat-up Mandalorian armor. So this is him all shiny. And they also had a version of him that came with Grogu named as the Din Djarin version. Which I will actually show you a side-by-side -side comparison of because they are quite different. So let's get all this stuff out of here. Oh uh, yeah, his pistol's taped in. Just like most uh, Hasbro figures, it comes with this little leaflet, which basically says uh, in 20 different, 27 different languages, warning, copyright, choking hazard, blah, blah, blah. Don't eat anything in this packaging and don't copy our designs or we'll sue you. All right, so anyway, looking at his accessories first, he's got his backpack, his jetpack which has the peg off to one side. That's to help accommodate his, uh, his cape here. So it doesn't, so you can, don't have to take the cape off in order to put that on there, which is pretty cool. He's got his rifle, which I am a big fan of. I think it looks great. And it is, uh, unless I, and mistaken, I believe it is the same kind of rifle that Boba Fett used in the uh, in the uh, classic Star Wars uh, Christmas special. But anyhow, there is a peg on the rifle and there is a peg hole on his back as well as this bandolier. So you want to match up those peg holes and then use the peg, put that in there for some storage. And once you get it into the back itself through the bandolier, it's pretty securely on there. Um, it is a little too close to the uh, the peg for the backpack. I mean, you can have the backpack on there, but it's it's kind of. I mean, the the it just just a barely barely holds on. It's not as the most secure connection there when you have the rifle and the backpack on together. Unfortunately. And I've demonstrated in pre, I believe this guy is the same exact mold as the other Mandalorian I've, Mandalorians I've reviewed. Um, but he can hold his rifle pretty accurately. Thanks to his uh, wrist hinge there. Finger does fit through the trigger guard. You can actually get the stock up in his shoulder. And of course, you just bend this arm to hold the front of the rifle. Where's the hinge at? There it is. So as you can see, if I took the time, you can definitely hold that pretty realistically, which I love. And last but not least, he has his pistol here. And the pistol is, you know, Pretty well designed, not too bad. It also has a trigger guard 
and his trigger finger does fit through that as well. And it does fit nicely in his holster. Yeah. Very good. All right. Now, let's have a look at the figure himself, detail-wise. Feels like he's got a ratchet in his shoulders here. All right. So anyway, this is him in his shiny armor. And you can tell the armor is shiny. It's not scuffed up or anything at all. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, a lot less scuffed up than the uh, Din Djarin version of the figure, as you can see. Um, this version's got a lot more uh, weathering on him, especially on the thighs and the chest plate and the helmet. Than this guy. So there is a clear and definite difference between the two versions. Uh, otherwise, still very cool looking. And uh, not for nothing, but I am a fan of cloth capes and I wish they would have given us one. Uh, I hate the, the molded cape here. Um, I know that the, uh, the only selling point for the figure that comes with the uh, Razor Crest eventually is that he has a cloth cape. I may actually have to open that figure up. I was going to keep him sealed, but I don't, I don't know. We'll see what time, when, the, uh, when the time comes and I finally get the damn thing. But anyway, articulation-wise, his head is on a barbell joint. He can do a full 360 degree rotation. He can look up, he can look down. He can tilt from side to side, get some expression out of him. Arms, full 360 degree rotation. Um, he can put his arm up about that high. The shoulder pad moved out of the way a little bit, it looks like, which is kind of cool. I don't remember how that's connected on there. All right, well, anyway, shoulder pad doesn't seem to get in the way, which is awesome. Um, nothing at the bicep. Elbows flatten out as well as do a little over 90 degrees. They can rotate all the way around. Wrists, full 360 degree rotation. He's got the wrist hinge, goes up and down on this side, same as the other side, which is nice. He's got diaphragm joint, decent range of motion there. Whoops, I'm sorry, it was off camera there. Decent range of motion there, can also twist from side to side, although the bandolier is connected to his belt, so you're gonna have to be careful of that. Um, does he have a waist swivel? No, okay. Uh, legs, same funky joints that I hate. <laughs> um, he's got the... Uh, the hinge, hinge on the hips, and then they're connected via a ball joint or ball and socket. So you gotta rotate the whole upper portion if you wanna move the leg around, um, which is easier said than done because he also has an upper thigh cut. All the way around. Uh, knee flattens out full 90 degrees. He's got full 360 degree, 360 degree rotation at the bottom of the knee, not the top. Ankles, full 360 rotation. Point his toes down, point his toes up. Not bad articulation. Again, I'm not a huge fan of those hips, but they're, they're pretty standard for Star Wars figures, unfortunately. Let's get him off standing there. Do some size comparison now. He is a vintage collection figure, so he's going to be close. Oh, you dirty son of a... <laughs> All right, come on now. Come on. All right. Part of the reason they have a tough time standing up is because of those hips. It's hard to get those legs positioned properly. So anyway... He is a three and three quarter inch figure because he's from the vintage collection. So he's going to size up a lot closer to your vintage three and three quarter inch Star, uh, Star Wars and G.I. Joe figures. But the four inch figures like, oh, well, he's actually on the taller side. That's kind of cool. All right. So sizes up pretty good with that guy, actually. That's the Dollar General Cobra Trooper from the modern era. Um... Boss Fight Studio Blank. 
a little shorter than him. He's a four inch figure. Um, Marvel Universe Captain America. And last but not least, Master Chief. So all in all, he's not a bad figure. Uh, I actually really do like the, the figure quite a lot. It's just those hips I don't like. That, that's my only major gripe. Um, I love the way he holds his weapons. All of his accessories make sense. And I like the fact that they they gave you a different paint scheme on this guy than the Dinjajarian version because I actually felt justified in buying this one after already having that one. Um, I like the fact that he's got the shiny armor as opposed to the... Uh, the battle worn stuff although i do like the battle worn look as well um anyhow i do recommend you pick one up if you're a fan of the character you're going to want to put him on your shelf and uh all of his accessories make sense he's a cool character at half um this has been av if you like this video check out my channel where you'll find a whole bunch of other 118 scale um themed content vehicles figures accessories you name it um i also have some comics books up there as well um if you like what you see there then please subscribe and as always thanks for watching